And now time for weekly show with a passionate India lover, chairman of ITV Gold and Parik Worldwide Media. Get ready for loving sharing from physician, philanthropist, publisher, and India advocate in this week. Namaskar. Our show guys and I have the pleasure of welcoming Pankshi Dr. Sudhir Parik for this special weekly edition. Uh, namaskar, Dr. Sab. Swagat hai aapka. Namaskar. Namaskar. And today I want to begin uh, with uh, one uh, event that is drawing our attention, which is uh, shocking. Also, in one way, collapse of a forty-story building in Miami, and president is also likely to visit that. Uh, it is near the sea beach. Uh, your uh, first response in terms of what you thought: this is something uh, that we haven't heard in years, actually. well i mean this is very shocking and uh, very unfortunate and very 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 uh, uh, very very uh, unacceptable uh, happening would happen which uh, led to this kind of collapse of the building and particularly in the usa because in usa we know that there are quite a few uh, reg- rules and regulations on the property on the building construction building uh, inspection and so forth and this building somehow uh, had some inf- inspection what i understand few years ago uh, the inspector uh, commented some deficit in the construction and obviously nobody took care of that and this happened so i think whoever is responsible of negligence uh, whether it's a builder with a owner or 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 whoever is should be investigated should be prosecuted and should be come to uh, bring to some accountability absolutely and as you mentioned for recertification uh, there was uh, one uh, repair work in process probably with 50 million dollars of uh, investment required to repair and maybe they were going back and forth or but overall things are uh, as you said unacceptable and shocking both this would uh, make people across the world including india think again about how the high story buildings or skyscrapers uh, near uh, the uh, uh, sea actually there are many cities like that in india also mumbai do you see that uh, it calls for some additional alertness and that's <laughs> uh, that needs to be learned uh, taking into account what happened in miami obviously i mean lesson to be learned because always land around the sea area is always little softer and um, so but there are enough rules and regulations or engineering uh, a kind of um, uh, ability uh, to uh, overcome all those things uh only thing is that uh, um, builder has to stick with the uh, plan um, blueprint <clears throat> they should do the all the necessary work and all the work has to be inspected at every steps and again uh one uh, once building is done and people are living there still it should be inspected once uh, so often once a year once every other year and uh, if there is any uh, deficit or uh, defect should be corrected and uh, doesn't matter how much it costs because uh, here the cost is not only money part but cost of is cost of the lives lost so uh, uh, all the correction has to be done and if someone has ignored that correction or has not done in spite of the telling them then i think um, that person has to be uh, uh, hold uh, i mean held responsible for that uh, negligence absolutely and now talking about the indo us relationship uh, in this context uh, the latest development uh, with the appointment of atul keshav as uh, charge the affair a new interim envoy of usa in india uh, he is a career diplomat and of course uh, comes from uh, indian uh, roots how do you see uh, this idea of uh, america sending an indian indian american as its um, envoy to india well i, I think is a is a it shows that our uh, indian americans are arrived 
has importance in the uh, uh, so, uh, American society, and we have we have a lot of impact on the American uh, politics. And the selection of uh, this kind of selection always uh, makes you feel proud as well as satisfied. Let me uh, just venture into a little bit of psychological thinking. So. As you are also aware, and you have been instrumental in forming Indian Caucus, uh, you have worked uh, tirelessly uh, in the initial phase, especially when uh, there was need for uh, building bridges between India and America on uh, several levels. So you are uh, you are in love with uh, the country in which you are born, and you are an American also. So as an envoy, when uh, let's say Atul Keshab uh, is uh, posted in India, Indian uh, Indians would have some additional expectation from him. Uh, do you do you think that um, would obstruct uh, his um, discharging of his duties in fair manner, or it helps? I think uh, at this that level of uh, diplo diplomatic level. Uh, anyone who gets appointed, whether uh, they, they are uh, Indian descent or uh, an American citizens, I think uh, their judgment should not be uh, get clouded uh, one way or other, and they should be very fair, uh, very objective, uh, and and uh, kind of judgment has to be very clear. And so I don't think that plays any much role in it. Even though he is a uh, Indian descent, doesn't mean that everything he or he should twist the thing towards the uh, benefit of the India. He should do whatever is good for uh, uh, USA and first USA and then India. So he has to have loyalty towards USA uh, to start with. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think uh, in some way it helps him uh, being aware of the way Indian system functions, maybe uh, work uh, in a better way for America also. But now moving towards uh, the importance of communication as well as initiatives to bring people together. Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for a meeting of Jammu Kashmir uh, political leaders, uh, which was uh, very much um, talked about. And some people were apprehensive as to what would be the result, etc. So. Now we know what transpired, but before going to the meeting, when you heard about this initiative, uh, what was your uh, take? Uh, you looked at it with hope uh, and something necessary, or was it like backtracking on abrogation of free 70 in some way? No, I think it's a, it's a progressive thing, a proactive thing. And the uh, whole idea uh, behind that talk is the pr prime minister wants to now move forward after two years of uh, um, removing of the 370, he wants to make, as he promised before, Jammu and Kashmir uh, a state uh, or give them statehood so they can function more democratic way. They can have more rights, more uh, ability to uh, govern themselves. And therefore, I think the uh, whole thing was very serious and Prime Minister wanted to move forward uh, with uh, so there is now there is no question of going back back on 370. That's done. Now it's question whether to keep the Jammu and Kashmir as a Indian territory or uh, make them uh, give them statehood. I think uh, to giving statehood is a, is a very desirable way of uh, uh, entertaining and engaging uh, those population. Absolutely. And I think he uh, shared the roadmap of reaching to that destination uh, uh, and talked about the process of demarking of the constituencies before holding elections, because which was overdue. And uh, he clearly uh, said that there's no question of going back on uh, 370, as well as no uh, question of talking to Pakistan. Um, but right after this, uh, as you uh, have seen, there has been one drone attack at uh, Indian uh, Air Force um, Jammu um, Airport. And uh, this is the first uh, of its kind where unmanned uh, uh, sort of explosives uh, were um, uh, used. Uh, do you see these correlated uh, acts as well as... Uh, 
there has been a high level meeting between prime minister home minister defense minister and defense advisor uh, on uh, uh, analyzing uh, this uh, development your take on uh, well, well this incidents what happened is kind of unacceptable and we have to be very concerned about it because even though it's a small event no, no damage is done but now it's a new war warfare started uh, particularly from the remote less warfare we are warfare without involving the human human being and and that could be a very dangerous warfare and i think uh, india should be alert should uh, develop certain anti um, uh, anti missile or anti drone um, uh, active uh, arrangement so they can uh, check this uh, this kind of uh, Uh, terrorism or this kind of uh, interference on the other country absolutely and as we move towards uh, concluding part of our conversation uh, i want to bring uh, to the attention of our viewers and uh, then i'll seek your input uh, there are many uh, compassionate indian americans who tirelessly work towards uh, some of the other project and you have also helped many and recently uh, you were instrumental in helping one prayatna foundation raise funds for khichdi rath you must be aware that they um, succeeded in raising 16000 dollars and so the um, the process of uh, reaching out to hunger people with food continues uh, so talk to me about uh, this um, active uh, participation of indian americans in solving uh, some of the problems uh, with compassion well i mean it's a, it's a very commanding and very kudos to all the indian american those who participated in this kind of activity it's a great novel cross uh, to promote and uh, i think uh, we should do all this thing uh, we should encourage them and we should uh, do more and more to help the community and uh, and and bring the awareness in the community absolutely and media also plays its uh... role in uh, making that happen and as uh, we conclude uh, any uh, development that you are aware of in terms of the investigation regarding the origin of covid as america is also emphasizing and do you see that we will ever reach to any conclusive uh, uh, sort of a point of origin for covid well right now i think uh, we have not reached any conclusion obviously whenever there, this kind of uh, personal to personal interaction is uh, we always hopeful and we believe that something good will come out and uh, i'm sure it will so let's hope for best and uh, wait for a, a good thing to come out absolutely and you are concluding remarks from today show uh, dr sunil parik well i mean uh, today show uh, uh, i would again say uh, tell my friends that get vaccinated vaccines are very safe will protect you from hospitalization and dying and therefore it's very important to every each every each, each and everyone should get vaccinated and now vaccinated is free uh, it easily accessible to all the uh, brothers and sisters and uh, one can uh, uh, use a whole uh, uh, corporate uh, new york city corporations uh, um, uh, out i mean initiative make use of it and get vaccinated and uh, your greetings uh, for um, indian americans and, uh, always every week. yes yes and uh, i would like to thank you um, for joining us this week hopefully we'll see you next week till then god bless america god bless india and god bless indian american brothers and sisters thank you